Hi, this is Jeremy Bramel from Eastfield College, the Toyota program. Uh, I'm here today, I'm going to show you about some uh, concentric slave cylinders on a manual transmission. It's kind of an odd creature. Um, they're becoming more popular on some of the rear wheel drive stuff, so we'll take a look at them and compare the difference between a traditional slave a little bit. So what I have with me here is a manual transmission from an F-150. And I get the camera straight there. So it's got a concentric slave. Instead of being outside on the outside of the transmission case with a traditional clutch fork, where the slave would actually push on the fork and cause the release uh, bearing or the throw out bearing to move, it's actually all built into one unit inside the bell housing. So your hydraulic line usually comes in over here and it's going to have a quick release on it so that you can easily, well, supposedly easily, usually it's a pain, to get the line in and out of it. And then just above it, there is a fitting where we can bleed this thing so we can bleed the system on it, um, which on a clutch is normally not that fun to bleed anyways. Um, on small hydraulic systems, they're usually a pain to bleed. Uh, my favorite way of doing this is to reverse bleed, to actually take a big syringe full of brake fluid and squirt brake fluid in through here and push all the air up and out through the master cylinder, but that's a different video. So your concentric slave, your slave cylinder is in here, your release bearing is attached to it, and it moves in and out like this. Um, it's pretty simple. Now then, one of the problems you run into the, with this is if your bearing is bad and making noise, like let's say this one, was probably pretty noisy. Um, in order to replace it, you gotta pull the transmission out. If this guy's, well, it's, it's just pretty normal. You gotta take it out to replace that no matter what. But um, if your hydraulics start to leak, which is not uncommon, uh, this guy lives in a hot environment filled with some abrasive caustic brake dust, um, which can eat the seals and the piston on the slave and uh, cause it to leak. So if this guy leaks, transmission's gotta come out to do that. Uh, it's no longer a bolt onto the side, just two bolts and a line to replace the slave cylinder. You gotta pull the whole transmission out. Um, now the next side of that is if you're gonna do a clutch on one, you might as well do this guy while you're in there because it's not gonna get any easier than right then. But to show you with the pressure plate, pressure plate lives here and the slave just pushes on the forks of the pressure plate. Uh, this is the way this guy works. Take it off and take a look at it. But that's all there is to it. Uh, pretty simple little device. It's a hydraulic cylinder that pushes in and out on the bearing. You can replace the bearing separate on some of these, but why bother? Might as well just do the whole unit and be done with it. Uh, but that's a concentric slave. It lives in there on the input shaft of the transmission. Make sense? All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have a whole bunch of videos on this transmission. We're going to take it apart, go through all the rebuild process, show the power flow through it. So stay tuned for some of my other videos on this. It's an M50D MR2 something or another from an F-150. All right, thanks for watching.